five weird life hacks for you to do to like change the way you do things and if you like this video at any times don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and so yeah I will just go ahead with the video. you guys is how to get sharpie out of your hair and I don't know if everybody has experienced the problem of I can't get sharpie out of my hair but I have and I don't know one time I just decided to be weird and decided to put dark blue sharpie in my hair yeah and I thought oh it'll come up after I take a shower and everything because I mean I thought it did and after a few showers it didn't and I got kind of you know scared and I even pinned up my bangs like so like they wouldn't sh be noticeable that noticeable as much and so I, I, I ran through this problem so I did like surf the internet to figure out how to do this and I came up some with some ideas that I hope that will help you out okay so the first idea is Dawn to show I have tried this one so I know it works you just have to kind of put it in there and then just wash it out and it works great coconut oil I think will work great too um, hairspray is another one that I hear, I hear is great. Um, also, another one people said was nail polish remover. I would not suggest this at all because it seems like it had way too much chemicals in nail polish remover and it would damage your hair a lot. So, I don't know, I would not try that. So, yeah, if you ever get into this predicament, which I hope you don't, but if you do, that is how to get Sharpie out of your hair. This is even a life hack. This is just something that I think all of us need to know. And so my friend told me about this, that on every toothpaste, no matter what it is, unless it's homemade, but on every toothpaste brand, they, uh, they have to put this color at the back of the toothpaste where the ingredients kind of are. And it, there's a color. It has, it's either black, red, blue, or green. Those are the four colors that it can be. Black means it's made of all chemicals, nothing but chemicals, it's pure chemicals. Red means it's partially chemicals, and blue means it's medicine plus a little chemicals, and green means it's pure, no chemicals. And these, this one is a Crest Complete. This is the one I've been using, and it's actually red. And I was so surprised when I heard this, but I was like, wow. And then this one, I use it for traveling. It's Kids Crest Cavity Projection. And this one's blue. And I, it doesn't make sense because it's for kids. And I'm just saying, if you have a black toothpaste, I think you should throw it away right away. But, I mean, if you have a red one, I mean, you don't need to throw it away. Just when you're done using the toothpaste, then just go ahead and buy a new brand. So, yeah, I, I thought I would let all of you guys know that. Just to let you know what color your toothpaste is and what it has in it. Okay, another life hack for you guys is how to get spray paint off your hands. I mean, it will come off eventually. I mean, seriously, it will. But it's one of those things if you're taking pictures and it just won't come off again. It won't come off. And so, you kind of need it off now and so what I did is I don't know if this life hack is out there but I, I think I came up with this by myself but you put white glue over your spray paint stain and mine was like right here and so I put it on it when I was like in school and so I decided to let it dry and then I peeled it off and this the spray paint peeled off with the dry white glue and it works awesome. You should totally try it. It might leave us a, a, a few specks of it that where the white glue, the dry white glue teared a little bit, but it should work great. Okay, another one is how to get sharpie off of your hands. I already talked about how to get it out of your hair, but this is how to get it off your skin. And so what you do is you just put hand sanitizer, 
hand sanitizer on your hands and just rub it around and it's gone. And it, this will also work on if you have a desk at school and your Sharpie bleeds through your paper when you're drawing or something, you can also wipe it off with hand sanitizer or a wipe or something like that. So yeah, that is how to get Sharpie off your hands. is kind of different than the rest of the life hacks but I, I'm pretty sure all of you have probably heard this already because it is a pretty famous life hack right now but if, if you haven't this is a good life hack to know you take a uh, cup and if you don't have a speaker right now or you're saving up for one and you kind of want it a little louder than what your iPod or your iPhone is playing right now and so what you do is you just put it in a cup and it amplifies the sound more. And so yeah, if you want it a little louder, then just put it in a cup and it'll amplify the sound more. And that's it! And I hope you liked it. And if you did like it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe. And so yeah, that is about it. I will like see you next time. Bye!